Hi, my name is Gael Sasson and I would like to talk about the symbolic aspects of the presidential candidate as well as the debate that was held in September 26. And I would like to present something that has to do with astrology and the general symbolism of what happened and also provide with you some tools that you can use for yourself to understand your own situation right now. So first of all, I would like to congratulate America. For the first time ever, you're presenting us two candidates that are both a completely different archetype than what America had so far. So far, America had the jock, the superhero, the cowboy, all of these archetypes that are too perfect and therefore an illusion. Right now, for the first time, they're presenting in front of us two wounded leaders. It's a most and much more powerful candidacy and it's a much more powerful archetype than anything before. It adds depth. Not only that, but America is showing by choosing those two people that for the first time ever it's willing to deal with A, old karma. Karma means action and reaction. Things that have been done in the past that were wrong and now need to be corrected, rectified. And I'm talking about the slavery. And the second thing is a new karma issue which has to do with torture. Which is the reason why America lost face in front of all the world basically in the last eight years. So we're having here two candidates, a Virgo, McCain, that has been tortured, new karma, and Obama, which is a Leo, which represents old karma. Both of them are wearing their wound on their body. McCain, with his strange posture, is because his hands were broken and he was tortured. This is the new karma. And Obama, having the middle name Hussein, which is an Arabic name associated with Islam, and the fact that his color of his skin is different, those two major issues America has decided to face because it's calling its main candidates wounded. So I think that this is, first of all, the most important thing and that's a great, great news for America and for American history. I think right now things have shifted. Now it's really interesting to see how this karma works. First of all, we have the issue of the war in Iraq, that these two candidates look completely differently at those two things. So first of all, you have the issue that the war in Iraq cost around $600 billion, probably more by the time it ends, and the bailout is for $700 billion. It's really interesting that the very money that we allocated to the war could have helped us with Wall Street. But that again is just to show how the justice or the weight of karma works, just that you can get a little bit more understanding of how it works. Now what we have here is two candidates, McCain, which is a Virgo, which is all about trimming, cutting, making sure that uh, America goes through some sort of a cleanse, a diet. And you know what? America does need a cleanse right now. It is 64% obese. It is a obese fiscally, financially, spiritually. There is a need for trimming. There's a need for cutting. And that's why McCain very bluntly said that he will hold a pen. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword. And he will veto every bill of spending that comes into his table. Virgo in astrology is the sign that teaches us how to say no. You know, it's the sign of diets, of cleanses. It's supposed to tell us not this, not for that. It's supposed to get us to trim. It's a very powerful cleanse. Now, Leo, on the other hand, is much more bombastic. It's much more creative. And if you think about the metaphor of what America needs right now, you have to decide between a cleanse and an electrical shock. Because what a Leo can prov provide us is the ER of like getting us like very enlightened, very, very fast. That's what the Leo can do. So if we are in a situation where we need really immediate help right now, then we need a Leo. If we want preventive medicine for the future, if we have time for a nice diet, then we need a Virgo. But definitely what we have is those two energies, Leo, the child, the inspiring, hopeful, and Virgo, the solemn editor who wants to cut and trim. And these are the two archetypes that happen to be in the astrology uh, zodiac right next to each other are basically competing on the future of America and maybe the future of the solar system because America is the leader of this planet right now. So first of all, you also have to look at the symbol that was hanging behind them. In the Mississippi University of Mississippi debate, you have seen a huge eagle, the symbol of America, and it was facing McCain, which is really interesting, but more interesting, it was facing the arrows, because the, the eagle in the symbol of the United States has um, two things that it's carrying in its legs. One of them is the arrows representing war. The other one 
is the laurel leaves were representing peace and victory. So first of all, Senator McCain was under the arrows, which makes sense. He was for the war in Iraq from the beginning. Obama has the laurel leaves, victory or peace, above him, which means that he supports withdrawal or he was the one of the only one that said no to the war. So it's interesting that, at least in that debate, symbolically speaking, because the Eagle's laurel leaves victory was above Obama, that Obama probably would win, if not the debate, then the presidency. But it's interesting that the Eagle now is facing the arrows, which means that America is in a state of war. If you look at your one dollar bill, you'll see that the Eagle is facing the laurel leaves, which is the state of peace. So again, you're talking about the arrows against the laurel leaves.